Right now, a team from the Louisiana Red Cross is on its way to Florida to help out. WGNO's Jordan Lippincott is live in Metairie with the story. Jordan. Curtin, Susie, Louisiana may have been spared by Hurricane Debbie, but that doesn't mean Louisiana Red Cross won't be in the center of the aftermath. As Hurricane Debbie sweeps across the southeast, the storm has already made a deadly impact in Florida, where at least four people are confirmed dead, including a 13-year-old boy. The young man was asleep in his bedroom, and that's where the major impact was. Here in New Orleans, the parking lot at the Louisiana Red Cross office was nearly empty Monday afternoon. Hours earlier, volunteers, along with three emergency response vehicles, were deployed to help in the aftermath of Debbie. As well as the water and food, they also will have um, emergency assistance cards. So the, the volunteers with the vehicles will be able to provide financial assistance as well from those vehicles. Three volunteers were sent to Florida and six volunteers were sent to Georgia with more deployments expected this week. It will move up the East Coast and it will bring damage and torrential rains all the way up the coast. So we will be moving these vehicles shelters based on the greatest need. Louisiana Red Cross CEO Kenneth St. Charles says they're also keeping an eye on the tropics in case Louisiana finds itself in a storm's path. These are hurricanes that we are preparing for, practicing for, but our practice is really sort of ongoing. We're always in a preparation mode to respond. And according to a spokeswoman for Energy New Orleans, they will continue to monitor the impact and stand ready to uh, restore power if necessary. Kurt, Susie. Okay, thanks, Jordan.